Welcome to this Flask tutorial guys and in this tutorial we will upload file. We will see how we can upload file using Flask. So we will do three things. First of all, we will run into some issues, some common issues while we upload files and we can we will see how we can fix those common issues. Second, we will only allow specific file types to be uploaded like images or like audio files or PDFs. It is a huge security risk to allow any kind of files to be uploaded. So we will see how we can stop that. And third, we will follow up from our previous tutorial where we saw how we can create, read, update or delete records from database. But if you haven't watched that tutorial, it's fine. This is completely independent of that. And if you have watched that, uh, I'll give you a task which will help you to learn more about file uploading and understanding our previous task better. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, let's see what we'll do. Uh, as you can see, I'm uploading a PNG here. And if I send this, it says requested file not found. That is because <laughs> that is because I have not created that function or that route that's upload book. So first, let's just create this. We'll just create a route, very simple. Just like old times. And the method that we accept is, we need to accept post method to upload files. Let's call it upload book. We need not for now. Okay, I was just copying this from here, but let's not do this because that is that would be wrong. So first we get the uploaded file, right? In a variable. So you can just do request.files and as you can see here I have the keys file. So if I get file, this means our uploaded file variable now has the file. So simple and flask. Flask. Okay. Now we check if okay first of all let's just upload this right let's say we want to upload it to a folder called uploads in our destination in our project that is flask code so i don't have uploads folder here so i'll just go ahead and create a new folder and call it uploads so now we have our uploads folder ready and the destination is uploads and now you simply need to save the uploaded file to the destination it's so easy in flask and now we will return file uploaded successfully so easy but now we also need to check about the extensions and stuff so that we only allow specific extensions to be uploaded but first of all let's see if this works or not this basic stuff needs to work first okay so let's run this invalid syntax on line 57 what did I do 57 upload files or file equals to request sorry return it's not return so stupid of me you must have been laughing watching this it's request not return guys okay now it should work yeah it's working as you can see here the server is running in this IP and in this port and we already have this here so our route is or what do you call it you call, you call it route or you call it root whatever it is it is this here and my file is already selected so I'll send it again and it is showing permission denied so this is a very common error now let's see how we can fix this so what happens is Python is searching for this request uploads folder not here but in a different directory where uh, you know Python is running or where the Python is executable is all right so what we can do is instead of writing the dire dire destination directly like this we need to use OS module like okay, let's remove this for now and say destination equals to os dot path dot join so uploads comma uploaded file dot 
file name. All right, now this will help you to access the uploads folder in your project folder. It will not look for uploads folder somewhere else. Okay, so now we have our destination. Now uh, it's reloaded. Let's try to do this again. Okay, it is showing name OS is not defined. That is because we have not imported this OS module. So what you can do is you can just import it here, or you can import it at the top. But so, uh, but to keep everything concise and to keep everything in this line, uh, this code block for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just importing it here. Okay, now let's run this again, and it should work this time. Okay, it is showing file uploaded successfully. Let's check our uploads folder. And we have our ag.png here. Okay, that is good. Now, but what if we don't want to allow docs file or exe files, let's say exe files to be uploaded? And we send this. As we can see here, our exe file is also uploaded. And that's not good. That's a huge security risk. So let's see how we can stop doing that. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is we need to check if our What do we need to check? We need to check our uploaded file and allowed file uploaded file dot file name. If this happens, then only we will do this. All right. And if this does not happen, what we'll do is. We'll say an error and say file upload failed or invalid file type. Okay, so now we, we are checking if uploaded uploaded file has something if it actually has a file and we are using this function allowed file. Now this allowed file is not created yet. So let's create allowed file. So let's create a function allowed file that will take file name and it will check if this file name is in these allowed extensions. That is, let's say we just want to allow PNG or JPG or JPEG. Let's say we just want to allow these extensions. And what we do is we turn what we're doing is because file name has extensions like abc.jpg, abc.png, or abc.exe, right? So we are splitting it where this the dot last dot and we convert it, to, it into lower and we check if it is in allow extensions or not so what we are doing is we are splitting our file name we are sp splitting the extension part here and we are checking if that extension part is in these allowed extensions so it will return true if it is it will return false if it is not okay so yeah now let's run this again uh, I mean it's probably reload it again okay and now let's try to upload this exe file again and as you can see it says file upload failed or invalid file type and if we upload a png file again as you can see it shows file upload successfully so now we have learned how we can you know resolve common issues like uh, import issues or permission issues and how we can restrict file upload to just some common or just the file extension that we allow now we know how we can upload the files so what i suggest you do is follow up with the last tutorial and instead of just allowing uh, for uploading file and uh, moving it to the uploads directory what you need to do is there's this file name right and what you can do is you can pass a book id here in this upload book function and then you can uh, save the file name and file path in the database so I suggest you to go ahead and do that so you will learn how to create a more complete solution and do go ahead and try it and if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section below I'll readily help you out
Peace out.